Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Tardis, and I don't normally do like full-on reaction videos, mainly because like yeah, I'm more of a review channel, I like to actually sit on an episode and you know, get my thoughts straight before I put out a review, uh, and also the BBC are just the absolute worst when it comes to copywriting content ID and stuff like that, so I often don't think that reaction videos are often worth the hassle, however, a special case has to be made, because Russell T. The Davis himself, in an interview with Doctor Who magazine, said that for episode 7 of series one, The Legend of Ruby Sunday, he said, oh my god, it's exciting. Honestly, I think people should film reaction videos. People watching these episodes at midnight, I want reaction videos. And it's just gone midnight on the 15th of June, 2024, and I've got The Legend of Ruby Sunday all queued up on the BBC iPlayer. So you know what, Russell? I'm going to do this just for you. We're going to watch The Legend of Ruby Sunday, and I'm going to record my reaction to it. So hopefully it was worth it, Russell. Hope I hope you enjoy it. Ruby, this is Kate. We love Kate. I knew Kate's dad. He was I mean, Kate doesn't love you. She abandoned you in 73 yards. Harriet, head of the office. Hi, Harriet. <laughs> You're in charge of the iPlayer. Ruby, this is Morris Gibbons. <laughs> okay. Lenny Rush is a national treasure. Where's Ruth Maidley? Why is she retired from Scientific Advisor? TARDIS. The name is TARDIS Technology. Obviously. <laughs> That's like lampshading the fan theories, it has to be. She's called Susan. Is that significant? Susan is the name of my granddaughter. Now, I think it was going to be pretty clear that Susan Foreman would maybe be playing a role in the finale because they just drop her out of nowhere in the Devil's Court episode. You know, you wouldn't mention her if she didn't have some sort of role. Hi, Winnie. Are you coming to join us for The Legend of Ruby Sunday? He's even been the book of bedtime on CB. <laughs> so is David Tennant. Probability of track 95% and rising. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny's great. Susan Triad turns out to be really nice. But completely unrealistic for a tech billionaire. Actually, we even tried to be in the call, but we got the first <laughs> I love to be there. Is she not? <laughs> Lenny looks how I feel. <laughs> I can't. I've been to Ruby Road once and I can't cross over my own history. The I will just pause it there. That's one of my theories out of the window. Because if he's just going to say, I've been to Ruby Road before, that kind of gets rid of the theory that I had when the Space Babies was broadcast. The idea that the Doctor's keeping the fact that he's been on Ruby Road before from Ruby. Uh, because he doesn't want to give Ruby the... Like, the impression that he could have known who Ruby's mother was, but didn't check when he was there. Um, that might come up later, but the fact that Ruby didn't seem to have much of a reaction to it kind of dispels that theory, at least for me. It's a shame. I think that would have been a pretty cool character beat. This is story, darling. The legend of Ruby. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, she said it. <laughs> then Ruby, you can tell her your mother is too. Now go and get Mrs. Flood. What for? Go and get her. Okay, one, why do they need Mrs. Flood? And two, oh my god, I would kill for scenes between Catherine Tate and Michelle Greenidge. Get Camille Kaduri in and it's like the mother's like trio. That would be amazing. I just need you to look after mum. Oh, okay. I thought they were just gonna take her to unit randomly. I would love a cup of tea. <laughs> well, we'd all like a lot of things that aren't going to happen. That's Pure evil. <gasps> Mel, Melanie Mel. I know Theo, it's Mel. Presley told us in the 1970s unit was absolutely forbidden to experiment with any form of time technology. So they do. <laughs> yep. Even Theo is watching, enraptured. Hey, is that a Manchester accent? Hard to say, Mum. Cheetah Mel. Ooh. My wife works in Cheatham Hill. It's interesting to see if it will pay off the idea of let's pay off the mystery of who is Susan and also who is Ruby's birth mother or whatever. Let's see if let's see if they can thread that needle. That's impossible. I'm telling you what's impossible. Haven't <laughs> That's why you get Lenny Rush. For lines like that. 
scarf. Millie Gibson's so good. Like that awkward, like very nervous laughter. So pitch perfect. Dudledum, bum ba bum, bum ba bum, bum ba bum, bum ba bum. <laughs> Viewers, if you know, you know. Does this count as standing on grass? Like, <laughs> if they go into the churchyard, does this count as standing on grass? I've never seen the window this strong. We have given it the greatest power of all. A Mancunian. Oh. Yeah. Why, why have you got your gun raised? Why is your gun raised? What are you doing, Colonel? No, sorry. No. Something's gonna happen when he reappears. Where has the Colonel gone? Ooh. Winnie, what is that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Yes, yeah, stay. Just look around and tell us where are you? I am in hell. It's quite extreme, but that's also Cheatham Hill. <laughs> I hate lifts. I hate waiting. If it turns out Susan Tried is not Susan Foreman, then this is going to be like so strange for the average viewer. Who isn't like steeped in Doctor Who lore? Do you dream about a place called Pacific Hotel Regis? Do you dream of electric sheep? Time and rewind the VHS. <laughs> just, just rewind it, yep. Um, we've seen Davros in the smoke. <laughs> so it's been making noises since Wild Blue Yonder. I'm getting, like, real Army of Ghosts vibes. Like, like, emotionally, very similar to when they're about to do the ghost shift. And it's like, what's the orb? Like, you know, what's the, the void ship doing? What's inside of it? And, you, you know, that's the vibe I'm getting from this right now. Shoot it! <laughs> Ruby, you are a main character. You are essential. You whispered and delighted and seduced and the vessel did obey. None should be more mighty, and none should be more wise than the king. Harry. Oh, it's the macro. Harry, 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 Yep. Yep, the internet was right. Sutek. I know. Yep. It was not Susan, no way. Oh, God. Oh, God, is that Gabriel Wolf's voice? Sutek's gift of death to all humanity. That's Gabriel Wolf. Oh. Yep, voice of Sutek here. Gabriel Wolf returning once again to voice Sutek. Uh, there'll be a trailer. A little tease for next time. Sutek originally created by Lewis Grafer as well. So I assume he had a handle on the character from the mid-1970s. Yeah, it looks like we're not getting a next time trailer or anything. Okay, so that was a pretty good episode. Uh, all set up though, all set up. I felt the emotion when they were going back through the time window to Christmas 2004, but yeah, that was like all set up. And I'm kind of worried that a lot of the, you know, the audience will be watching that ending cliffhanger and just thinking, who is Sutek? What, are we, are we meant to know this? And I think that they, they got a bit too clever. I think they were thinking, okay, Susan Tardis, 
you know, I, I know it's meant to be like, oh, we got the wrong anagram, but I think that they leaned so hard on it maybe being the Doctor's granddaughter that it's like, it kind of makes the whole idea of the Doctor's familial relationships almost feel like just a, like a, like just a small detail as opposed to something that could have been a core part of his character. Also, I will say that the creepy prosthetic face on um, Susan Triad is a thousand times better than the CGI entity that's uh, that's on top of the TARDIS. But yeah, Russell, I reacted to it. I reacted to the episode. Now, because of that, you've given me your permission to react to it. So, BBC, don't strike me down. Anyway, I'm off to bed. <laughs> Folks, let me know what you thought of the episode Doctor Who, The Legend of Ruby Sunday. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like the video as well. Subscribe. Let me know if you want more reaction videos like this. But, you know, like I said, to the BBC is terrible when it comes to their abuse of YouTube's copyright processes and content ID policies and stuff like that. So it's unlikely, but, you know, let me know. I'll see you folks next time.